It was a very uh, good start to the year, Joe. You must have been pleased with the CSO results for the first quarter. Yeah, it was, it, it was a great start to the year, Eamon, and, and very welcome indeed, uh, with plus 12% for the first quarter this year, and particularly coming on the back of a very strong finish to last year, yes. where it was plus 14% in the last quarter. Yeah. And uh, it would be consistent with the momentum that our partners are reporting is in the marketplace here. Yeah, yeah. There is strong demand, and that yeah. demand is converting itself into bookings. Yeah. And the really good news, I suppose, is that it seems to be coming into the peak season. So quarter two and quarter three from here will also be very, very strong based that's, on those indicators. That's terrific. Yeah, so in fact, of course, if you get the first three quarters uh, showing growth, which as you say, looks like that would be four consecutive quarters that had really performed well and should give confidence that maybe, we, that maybe the worst is behind us in this market. Yeah, and I think that that's fair to say. Uh, there were a number of factors which did affect business badly for the last couple of years. And the first was that uh, the consumer confidence was really at an all-time low. As you remember, the, yes, the recession started here and, and people no longer felt that they could travel. And I was at a Focus Right um, exhibition uh, recently, webinar, yeah. and uh, they put it very well. They said that in 2009 people were saying, uh, I shouldn't. Yeah. And in 2010 they were saying, I can't. And this year they were saying, we're out of here. Yeah, yeah. And really that upturn in confidence and that upturn in travel sentiment uh, has translated itself into real bookings, yeah. not just for Ireland, but for other European destinations as well. Yeah, good. And of course, we get very excited at home, and rightly so, about the presidential visit, and it went very well, which was terrific. But um, how big a factor, one way or the other, is that on people's intention to travel to Ireland? We have a fantastic brand image here in the United States. Everybody, but everybody, wants to go to Ireland someday. Yeah. And our job is to convert that into a decision to go now. Yeah. And there is no doubt that the signals that were sent out by the Obama visit, but also by the Queen's visit, you know, was yeah. grist to our mail. Yeah. Uh, the welcome that they got, and probably more importantly, the fact that President Obama was more relaxed in Ireland than he ever is here, you know, yeah. sends out that Ireland is that sort of a place. Sure. Ireland makes you more relaxed, it makes you happier, it makes you, yeah. allows you to yeah. be yourself. Yeah. So it was fantastic, and it was very, very well, yeah. well reported here. I think yeah. that Ireland surprised him. Yeah, that's good. And of course, it's very early. We, we don't quite know how 2000 and 11 will be other than we'll have good growth but out here you get early indications some distance out so how is 2012 on the incentive and group business any movement? I, I just say it's a bit early to, 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 to make any definitive uh, call on that uh, but there's no doubt that the pipeline of incentive business in particular is very very strong yeah. and meetings and conference business is also uh, the, the inquiries for that are very very strong indeed. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like to send out any impression Eamon that you know this year is in the bag yeah. but we can't do that there still is an awful lot of business to be fought for. And I'm delighted to say that the Irish industry have stepped up to the mark and the participation uh, in the menu of trade opportunities, yeah. promotional opportunities, online opportunities, webinars and so on, yeah. really has been at a very, very high level. Yeah. They've put in the work and they've put in the shoe leather. Yeah. So by us working with the industry on the island of Ireland, yeah. I've no doubt that we will make it happen. Some of the big uh, uh, clouds on the horizon are, are, are related to the uncertainty of the dollar. The dollar yeah. has been faltering. Yeah. There's no doubt as well that the economic recovery here, recovery here, and while there has been a recovery, yeah. uh, it's a bit up and down. You know, it's not heading smoothly in the in, sure. in, in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also, peak season fares yeah. because of the reduction in access over the last few yeah. years are something that we have to work on. Sure. But they're all manageable problems. We can yeah. work on them all. Yeah. We have a great product, and the product is really yeah. over delivering. It's surprising yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, you know, that the man in the street yeah. in the way that it's surprised. Uh, President and Michelle Obama. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they went back saying to their yeah, friends, yeah. that must be a great place to go for your yeah, holidays, and yeah, it is. Yeah, and, and of course, staying with the Obama team for a second uh, in a, a presidential election year next year, there used to be old wives' tales that you didn't get uh, great results in the presidential election year. Is that what it is, just an old wives' tale? Or is uh, it, it is an old wives' that? tale. No, yeah. that, that, that really, we've looked at it over the years, and there's, that, there's very little The evidence change. isn't there. It, it's just, uh, the, the evidence just isn't there to support yeah, that. Yeah. So I think that given a fair wind, uh, providing we continue to put the effort into the marketplace yeah. here, that yeah. this year and next year will indeed be good from here. Well, that's great because, of course, it was from here that we saw the first indications that, that we were heading into troubled waters, though we didn't ever think to be as troubled as they turned out to be. But also it was always inevitable that this would be the first market to show recovery. So apart from the good news for this year, and you're right to point out that there's still work to be done, but that overall we will see growth, and let's hope that that's a harbinger of growth from all our overseas markets. Indeed, and it's great to see that in quarter one we actually did have growth not just from here, but from all of the markets. It's badly needed, 
uh, but I do believe that we have a fantastic product, have a fantastic brand, and provided we all work hard at it, yeah. we can really reap the benefits of the great product that we have in Ireland. Great. Well, on that positive note, Joe, thank you, and the best of luck for the remainder of the year. Thank you very much indeed, Evan.